I had to pee and I didn't want to just walk in there and use the restroom without buying anything. Hey guys, so yeah, my battery's like almost dead, like bro. <laughs> yeah, so I decided I might get back into YouTubing. I really wanted to like vlogs or whatever. So this is like one of my first self-care vlogs that I'm taking you guys along. Um, basically, I just believe in checkpoints throughout the year where you just like take the time to rest or whatever. Um, just kind of realize like, look, this time of year I'm usually get pretty burnt out. So like kind of trying to take those breaks before you get to the point where you're just like foggy and just like, oh, I need a vacation. So um, I usually always take off a few days in April anyway, and it just happens to be like my work around my work anniversary time. And so I took a few days off um, just to relax and rest and, you know, whatever, chill out. And I was going to stay at home, and I was like, you know what? Like, I need to go somewhere because if I stay at home, even though it can be somewhat relaxing, like my daughter gets washed at home and I have someone to watch her during the day. But I would have heard her voice and started playing with her and then doing laundry or just doing something and just being involved in something. And I just feel like it's just something about being away from home, um, traveling, and I think it's just exposure, like it's inspiring. And I think that there's just something about being in unfamiliar places where you just really, it's just a clear space to hear from God and not be distracted by like your normal like routines and everything that you have to do. Um, so I'm just excited. So I'm headed to um, a place called the Oakhurst Inn, which it's like a sister hotel to Hotel Wayne Oak, which is in Farmville, Virginia, which I always go there. I go there so many times, like whenever I'm just like, nah, I just need a couple days. It's just like not even an hour away from Richmond. So I go there all the time. And I was looking at like the reviews or whatever, and it looks like a pretty nice spot and very good price. And I just love a boutique hotel. Like I, I don't like staying at chains. I'm not in here for like chains. It needs to have a little bit of charisma, a little character, you know? So Charlottesville is only like an hour from where I'm at in Richmond. So. I'm just headed there. I'm so excited. Uh, this is my first time like going on a trip and not really having an itinerary. Like, I'm kind of like, this is so weird, but there's definitely a few food spots I want to hit up. Charlottesville has like quite a lot of local food spots and boutiques, so I'm excited to do that. Um, but other than that, I don't really have too much planned, but it's, it's going to be a great self-care time. So here we go on the road. <laughs> So we just got here to my hotel room, so I wanted to show you guys around. It's definitely different. Um, I love the room, it's very nice, um, but right now you can hear music because they have gin and jazz going on. I don't do the gin or the jazz, so that's a little interesting. Um, and like the way they have this set up is like... Right now, like my room is kind of like so close to the lobby and then they have like, it's just weird how the campus is like laid out. So it's not like a hotel where it's like levels or anything like that. Um, like everything's not connected. It's more so like houses and like individual and then like rooms within the houses, if that makes sense. Um, it's pretty quirky and cool though, but they said Jin and Jazz is about to end soon. Um, I'm mad hungry. Um, but I don't feel like going anywhere like I've driven off here So I may just get something delivered to my hotel and like chill out and hotel room watch some stuff But let me give you guys a quick room tour Okay, so quick room tour. This is like the foyer, you know a little desk whatnot. This is The mirror we have to have a mirror full of mirror everywhere. So I already unpacked So that's kind of what you guys see. So there's not really a closet. So they have a little desk area Well, I'm sorry dresser and then like this is like the stuff you hang stuff on and here's my bed it looks so cozy i just can't wait to just lay down and eat and then there's a little desk area and a little coffee station here it's a tv and then here is the bathroom so it's pretty nice um definitely not bad for it to be like a four star i th think it actually might be a three star but Pretty nice, and I get a nice little tub and a landing area, so I'm excited 
to get in the tub. That was like my main thing about this weekend. That's the first thing I asked the lady. I was like, um, does my bedroom have a tub? And she's like, yes, because some of them don't. So yeah, this is my room that I'll be chilling in. And apparently like jazz nights are a thing like every Monday night here till eight o'clock. So um, I definitely could see myself enjoying myself here and being like relaxed and chill. I'll show you guys more of the hotel later. I'm definitely gonna order some food though because I'm hungry and I don't feel like going anywhere and I don't wanna go anywhere after dark and it's kinda like almost eight o'clock so I'm definitely gonna probably door dash something to the hotel and chill out for the night. Yeah, and I have a Pilates class in the morning that I scheduled like mad early so I don't know if I wanna eat like breakfast before or breakfast afterwards but I'll figure that out. Yeah. Go talk to Dudley. Okay, so I'm early to Pilates class and um, I need grip socks. So I'm about to go into CVS. This is kind of like a long shot, um, but like a Walmart and Target is like too far from here. And I feel like the place should have grip socks, but I feel like they're gonna be like overpriced. And then like, I need a couple of told you items I kind of forgot. So let's see if we find it. Okay, so they have plenty of socks, just not grip socks, so. I guess I'll have to bite the bullet on that one. Perfect. So, I'm sorry, back the room. I had to center to the front of the room. I had to center. Control my thought. Hey guys, so Pilates was so much fun. I definitely like hope like one day to get like a membership. And to go back to classes it was so nice and instructor was really nice too well i'm at like one of my favorite smoothie bowl spots it's called juice laundry we used to have one in richmond but it got closed down like from covid so i was like i have to stop by i feel like so fit and like healthy so i'm eating the cb and j bowl and then I added in spinach. It looks really good. And I don't really have itinerary for this trip, so I don't really know what I'm doing after this. Like, no idea. I think... I think I'm going to go buy Ulta or Sephora. I know there's, like, a few beauty products that I've been needing to get. And then I need, like, a new foundation. So I want, like, to get some samples to try out some different ones. I'm gonna do my hair for sure, but I was like, there's no use of me like straightening and washing my hair before I get super active, like doing Pilates. So, mm, I'll probably do that today. I don't know. I may like actually do something. We'll see. But yeah, I'll see you guys later and we'll see what comes of like today. All right, I'm back in my hotel. Um,. I need to really get ready for the day because I purposely didn't do anything. I look a mess. Um, I'm also extremely hungry because all I got was a smoothie bowl. I should have got something else to go with it, but I didn't. And I forgot that the hotel cafe is closed on Tuesdays and it is Tuesday. So um, there's re really not too many people around um, the hotel right now. So I think I'm just going to get some more footage of like the lobby and like the pool area for you guys. But um, I'm hungry and I really need to figure out like, do I want to shower, wash, straight and blow dry, straighten my hair, and then leave again to go grab some food, or, or do I just want to go out now and get some food? I think I can thug it out just for a little bit, um, but my lunch meal has to be like packed. It has to be a lot of food in there, and I don't really know where I'm going, so. So I am so hungry. It's like four o'clock almost four o'clock um, So I like looked up a Sephora because I want to try the soldier soldier Janeiro line I think that's how it's like pronounced 
um, and I'm running out of like body butter and I need a few body mist going into like spring and summer. So I try to do something a little bit lighter than like a perfume. Sometimes that can be a bit heavy. Um, and I decided after coming back from Pilates to do my hair and I was low key hungry before doing it. Um, and now I'm like extremely hungry. So I'm just kind of like walking around this area to see like if a food spot like catches my eye or if it's even open. Seems like a really cool area. It's called the Shops at Stonefield. So there's like a movie theater, um, a lot of cool shops and stuff like that. Um, so I'll see where else I might go into, but I'm, guys, I'm so hungry. I just want to fall out. So let's see what I can find. I haven't even been sitting here for 10 minutes and they already brought out my food. Like, that's good customer service. Here for it. I got the fried fish sandwich and Parmesan truffle fries because last night the truffle fries I got didn't have Parmesan on them. And it kind of left me a little hanging, so. Yeah. I need one of these for sure. This one is my fave. So I'm getting this one. Yo, this is the biggest Target I haven't seen in so long. Like, why does it go all the way down there? Let's, let's see. I feel like my life about to change. So oh, I'm looking for a lounge set and I think this one is just so cute like the little scaffold and like crop top with the shorts but I don't have it in my size and I mean honestly like I just am having a hard time finding like a really cute set and hold on I might have spoke too soon stop it okay I'm getting this I need this oh look at these uh, okay and then this one Oh, it looks like it's just like a set, but like I have two of these, like this fabric, and they come in different colors. And then I wear them not only as pajamas, but like as like for real like outfit sometimes. It's really cute, but it looks like they're out of it. But this one is in my size, and it's in black. I'm sorry, y'all. I completely forgot you guys while I went into Ulta, but it's okay because I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, first of all, Ulta has you know a crazy sale going on right now so like a lot of brands at 30 percent off like just bless my soul all right so i got this as a gift for someone to like put i always like to give self-care baskets to my friend for their birthday so i just put a whole bunch of self-care items in like loungewear or like stuff like that so this is like a make your own like face mask kick from freeman and it's on sale for like five dollars right now so like i don't know if you can see like the little packet Come on, guys. Like, come on. Autofocus. Let's do better. Um, there you go. Um, so you can kind of see, like, the little spatula and the little... I just thought it was cute. Like, in, like, the little powder and you, like, mix it. So it's, like, three different masks. Kind of in one. That's pretty cool. Um, that was probably the most random thing I got. Everything else was actually on my list to buy. So I did good. I did good. So... This is the Power Group Primer from e.l.f. This was, like, the free gift that you get from e.l.f. And everyone's raving about these e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow products and I I was in need of like a re-up for my foundation my concealer literally all of that like foundation concealer and contour I'm like pretty much out of it so I'm like elf how's the best prices ever and everyone's saying how amazing it is so I was like let's do it I was like that's gonna save me a lot so I got an elf lip exfoliator because I wanted a lip scrub. I didn't really find what I was looking for, but I saw that they had these like $5 lip exfoliators and people had told me about it. So I'm going to try it and see it for myself. But this one's brown sugar and it's only like five bucks. Um, I got the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. A warning, it's not a lot of shades in this and I'm not really sure how this is going to match but the shade below was too light and the shade above was too dark and i don't do the whole mixing thing so we're gonna we're just gonna hope for the best i feel like it's also like 
um, kind of like a tinted moisturizer. So it's not going to look like exactly like your shade because it's going to blend in a lot. So hopefully that's the case. And that's the, what I kind of like to do in the summer. Anyway, is just like do a lighter face. So I'm hoping it works out. I got the camo concealer because um, I need an under eye concealer. That's slightly lighter than my skin tone. And then I got the little Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. Um, yeah, that's what it's called in Tandy. So that was all the ELF products I got. They had 30% off a lot of their stuff. So I got a touch on hand sanitizer from my car. My car accessory game has stepped up a lot. I ordered a lot of stuff from Amazon to really organize and get my car looking like something. It looks great right now. Um, so I'm just like filling up like my gym bag and my car with like accessories and stuff like that to make sure I'm like always prepared. Because like I'm a mom. I got to have my baby prepared and me prepared. Like I can't be a mess and then expect it to be like a great day and everything flows smoothly. So I've just been trying to get myself together. Um, I ran out of press on nails and I needed some anyway. They didn't have Glamnetics. Y'all know how I am about Glamnetics. I swear by Glamnetics because the nails are just so... They're so thick, but I didn't have them. So, um... This autofocus is trash. Okay. So, I got this pair that has, like, checkered and stuff. I think I'm going to put this one on today because it's, it's so springy. It's cute. I like it. And then I got, like, it's like these black tips. So, I'll probably do that. Um, at another time, I wouldn't like I really wasn't feeling the black tips, but I'm like, I don't hate them So let's just go with it, but they didn't have like a Lot left because it was picked over because all of them were 30% off, but these lips look kind of like the best I've never tried this nail brand. So I'm just hoping to God that it just works out. I Got my holy grail I've been swearing by this body shop body butter for literally for like 10 years since I got out of high school I change body butters and I always come back to this one because body butters are ridiculous like I am too ashy for the body butters to not be glistening after I put it on I can't do that so body shop has like thick body butter and like you don't need to mix it with oil because that's typically what I have to do with any other body butter I can't think of any other body butter unless it's like a shea like a shea body butter where it's like it's melting and it's like glowing but then when I use those it has a distinct smell to it it smells good but like it doesn't always match with like a fruity perfume or different things like that so i try like i try to only match that when i'm like use like my shea butter that's like real thick in the shea um or like shea and cocoa i only try to use those when i wear like my warm like spicy type of scents and we're going in spring and summer so i really needed something that just had a more like plain type of scent so that when I put on my body mist and perfumes, it's not, it's not clashing. So this is just the Shea. Um, there's a lot of different fragrances that I like. I like the honey one. I like the Arganol, the wild Arganol one. I've used the coconut one. I like that one too. I use a lot of them, um, but this one's like the, Shea is like the most plain one. So I just went ahead and got a big one of these and they, these were 30% off too. And, um... I lost this is ridiculous this is the only um red lip i swear by as well this is stila fiery and the liquid lipstick it's the best it's just the best i don't i've tried so many different red lips and it's just it's no point um th this shade fiery um i lost my last one because they last forever but um you pretty much just buy a new one when you lose it so it's it's been a long time since I've seen it and I was like, let me just get it because sometimes I'd be wanting to put on a red lip and I don't have one. So I had to re-up on that. And that was everything that I bought. Okay, bye. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm hungry um, and it's, it's really like almost eight o'clock. So it's about to start getting dark outside and um i don't like being out out in the dark by myself especially in a place that's not home so i think um, i see a chopped salad over there and y'all know i've been eating terrible so i think i'm gonna go over to chopped and get a nice salad and then go to my hotel room and just relax throw on some pretzel nails do my toes um watch a nice rom-com and just chill so i think that's what i'm gonna do because I feel like shopped out. All I brought today was beauty products, but I feel shopped out. So, 
I'll probably maybe buy a couple of boutique items. I'm thinking I want to find something unique, you know, tomorrow. I didn't really find anything at Target other than um, that cute little lounge set. So, um, yeah. I got a lot of beauty products, though, so I mean, I did good. I got everything pretty much on my list, so I killed it today. <laughs> okay. All right. You want the recommended dress? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Nice. Yep. I don't see a lot of people vlogging. I feel like a lot of people get scared to do it. Yeah, it's a little weird. Especially when you're talking in the camera. <laughs> Good morning guys. It's a beautiful day. So I just checked out the hotel. Let me give you guys some light because it's a great skin day. Um, I just checked out the hotel. So I'm about to head to their, their like cafe for a late breakfast. It's like, it's like 11.30 and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna head there. Um, I will say overall my experience here has been pretty great. There was a little bug in my room this morning. It wasn't a roach or anything, but they were like really nice about it and handled that. So um, we're good. I once again don't have plans for today, but I do want to kind of get home. Um, I'm going out of town for work, which it's going to be a woman's advance. So kind of not a retreat, but an advance. Um, so it is going to be relaxing and refreshing. Um, church services and things like that. It's going to be really awesome. Um, and I'm going to be around my sisters and stuff. We'll see if I vlog that too. But um, my daughter is going to be hanging with some of her fam, her grandparents, her great grand um, this weekend because my husband will also be out of town for work um, at with my father. So we're doing a lot this weekend. Um, so I just want to kind of make sure the house is prepared for that. I have some meal prepping to do and stuff like that. And I have some packing to do uh, before going. But I did want to like kind of um, look at a few boutique shops before I leave here. So I'm not really sure. But I'm not going to be like in a rush or anything. I do have service tonight. But other than that, I don't really have any other like official plans. So we'll see what kind of comes up today as I end up my little trip in Charlottesville. <laughs> By the way, I do have on my Mega Crush Crocs today, and guys, these things are the most comfortable ever. And let's take a little scenic route to this cafe. There's that there's like two entrances down here. So okay, so if you can kind of see how the end is, so like that's the main lobby, and that's where my room was. But they had like a whole bunch of houses like around the circle and that's kind of like how the rooms are set up so it is like really really different if you're kind of used to just staying in like a normal hotel but i overall liked the experience it was very nice very cozy um and everyone was super nice here okay so they said this is a really scenic route oh yeah they were not lying we have like has to go down. The menu looks pretty good. I might read a book or something while I'm eating my breakfast. Let's we'll see. Nice. Oh lord. I was inspecting all this. Really know if I'm even up to dress code. Some of these people here seem a little dressed up, but let's see. Okay, so I missed breakfast, but they do have brunch, so I'm here for that. Or we'll see what's on the lunch menu too. Really cute around here. Okay, so I have no idea what to order. I think I'm gonna go with the fritz, of course. 
but um, I wanted something sweet. I'm gonna get a cappuccino. I don't know. I may do a biscuit and like something. This sounds good. And the quiche sounds really good. I, don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll see. You're talking about like learn from your mistakes and all that. What are some things? This just me being curious, man. Maybe. I loved my food. It was so good. Words cannot describe. I think I really took my time there. I had a little bit of work to do and then I also um, read a little bit. The food was so good. Like that scone was everything. I, I had to actually get one to go so my husband can try it. So I have a few more hours low key to kill, like an hour and a half maybe. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and head into downtown, just kind of walk around and explore a little bit. And then I'll probably head home because like I don't really have too many other plans. I already pretty much got everything on my list of things that I wanted um, to purchase. Um, I did kind of want to go look at the boutiques to kind of like see if they have like just a few, just kind of like different things i that's what i don't like about richmond shopping like in richmond is like the malls everything looks the same it's not unique it's not different it's like everyone's gonna have on what you have on and so that's kind of why i've just been anti like going to the mall in richmond and just more so like going to boutiques which we do have a few back at home but um i just kind of want to see a few one few that they have here because they do have some and last time I was here, I didn't get a chance to like walk in and like actually get to shop. So I think I'll just do that for a little bit and then, then I'm gonna head home. I gotta get ready for church and get a few things straight for tomorrow. So yeah. This is definitely a winner. It's like kind of see through. It's so cute. All right, so I got something from Bittersweet, which is like one of my favorite stores. We have one at Richmond. So this top, it's a really nice quality. I know it's gonna last very long, but there's a couple of boutiques past here that I want to try out before leaving to go home. Um, why is it so cute in here? Stop, because why is this place so cute? Guys, look, they have like little sticky notes that you can write to people. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, so I found a couple things. I found this little top from J. Crew. Um, it's really not my size, but I'm just gonna try it on to see if it works. And then this little plain tee because J. Crew just has really good quality tees. And if I could find it at a thrift store, that's where I'm gonna buy it. And um, this is literally like four dollars, and I'm in need of like athletic wear anyway, so I'm gonna try it on and see if it works. This is a Calvin Klein blazer, and it's an extra 50% off of the price. Which let me just show y'all how much it is. It's a Calvin Klein blazer and it's 50% off the price which is $38. I'm hoping it's gonna give like an oversized type deal but I'm just not really sure but it's it's so cute like I love the idea of an oversized blazer so we're just gonna try it. Okay let's see if this works. This is so bad words cannot describe how not cute this is it's definitely like a menswear i do think that the shoulder pads like somebody is going to be able to wear this and look fire but it's not me it's not me it's definitely not me because what okay this is like this it fits perfectly which i feel like the small is not gonna fit but this is cute and comfy i like it yeah I, i'm gonna have to stop by this place to get me a treat wait are they closed shoot oh no the cafe's open okay cool <laughs> 
Okay, so I just got like this little cherry blossom latte. I've been to that bakery a few times and they have a few locations. It's really good. Okay, so I am right in the sun. This looks good. So, oh, I went to the sandwich shop. It's called Bad Bees. Got myself a sandwich because I'm completely stuffed, but I know I'll probably be hungry later. And then also, um, I had to pee and I didn't want to just walk in there and use the restroom without buying anything. So, um, I got myself a sandwich for later. So, I have plenty of leftovers and little treats to carry me over between tonight and tomorrow before. I have to head off to West Virginia, but um, yeah, I'm gonna head home, get some things in order there before I headed to church, but that completes my vlog. Thank you guys for watching and sticking in here with me on my work anniversary relaxation type of trip. <laughs>